Chance. They didn't win the game, but Florin has clearly won a heart. He's also won our play of the day. How romantic. Very nice. Thank you, Brad. No worries. See you tomorrow. OK. Back to Jimmy for an update on the peak hour traffic. Thanks, Stephen. Just hovering over the gardens this evening in the floorboards online traffic chopper. Having a look at Brunton Avenue. Very heavy going as you make your run down past the G and getting onto uh, Punt Road. Hoddle Street, not too bad as you make your run up northbound towards the eastern, which is good news. Uh, just a reminder, in Upper Fern Tree Gully, Glen Fern Road restricted near New Road due to a single car rollover with all emergency crews currently in attendance. Have a good night. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks, Jimmy. Mike's back after the break with the weather details. And double trouble as two baby meerkats steal the show at Werribee Zoo. Tonight we'll be crossing live to the red carpets for the Brownlow and the Delhi M's. Find out what HG is wearing. Is it hot or is it not? See you at 6.30. Welcome back. There's double trouble for Meerkat Mum at Werribee Zoo as her two new pups begin to explore their new home. The Meerkat family has been working together, taking turns to babysit the cheeky five-week-old pair. We've got the two older siblings that are eight months of age and they've taken over the babysitting duties. Often when they get fed their solid food, they go running to the pups and giving it to them and they give mum a bit of a break. The youngsters will be named in coming weeks once staff have determined their sex. The all-new Hyundai Tucson has been acclaimed as a landmark medium SUV. Now weathering the early storm of the Brownlow Medal, here's Mike. Yes, thank you, Stephen. Good evening. Where else would you want to be? A Justin Bieber concert? I think not. Hey, the girls are looking very glamorous as per usual tonight. And I was thinking, sure, it is a media circus. Sure, the footy players are in black and white looking A-OK. -okay. But uh, any fashion critics, I think, tonight will have a real job on their hands because uh, they're... The girls look great. OK, let's talk about today's weather. 8 degrees was the overnight low in Melbourne. 21.4 was our maximum, and that occurred at lunchtime as you possibly look over my shoulder as the footy stars and their uh, wags arrive this evening. Outside, 17 degrees. Good news, not raining tonight, but it feels like around 14. The uh, humidity at about the halfway mark, and that wind is a southerly, a sort of a biting southerly, if you like, blowing at about 12 kilometres per hour. Around town, a little warm in some suburbs. For example, 23 degrees this afternoon at Coldstream. Across our state, oh, and some school holidays. Holiday humour tonight from viewer Catherine Sweeney. Uh, what did the late tomato say to the early tomato? I'll catch up. Warm today up to 8 degrees above average in some parts. 28 degrees in the Mallee. No rain today. Uh, 16 in Colac and also Hamilton. Around Australia, well like us, 21 degrees up in Sydney. Adelaide today scoring 20. A lovely 25 in Brisbane. Again, okay, the weather charts, a low pressure trough across central Victoria. We'll move to the east tonight. An associated low will cross the uh, Tasman tomorrow. For similar weather tomorrow and Wednesday, warmer Thursday as we welcome the new month. The rainfall chart, uh, just a couple of millimetres of rain today in Hobart, uh, with more to come in Tasmania tonight and tomorrow. Isolated showers tomorrow in Victoria South. Interstate, over to Perth, 23. Adelaide, 17. Hobart, the rain easing tomorrow, about 15. Uh, Sydney today uh, wasn't a bad old day. It was about 21. Tomorrow, 24. Come Sunday, 30 degrees. They're going final on Sunday evening. Across our state, isolated showers over southern and mountain areas, dry in the north, cool, mostly cloudy, light southwest to southerly winds, 21, 22 degrees in the northwest, 7, 8 in the Alps. Around Melbourne, well, just a slight chance of a shower tonight and tomorrow as we wind up our drier September in seven years, generally 16 to 18 degree maximums. On the bays, northwesterly is at 50 to 20 knots. Uh, the sun rising about, well, just, just before six, how good's that? Setting at 6.22. Daylight saving kicks in this weekend, so this time next week it'll be 7.22, the sun setting. And now for our city by the bay, down to about eight overnight, a top of 17 expected, back to 12, partly cloudy, early morning fog patches, just a slight 20% chance of a shower. No wonder Wednesday, 9 to 17, possible morning showers. Thursday, October 1st, 19. Have a look at Grand Final Leave. Sunny, 25 for the parade and your day off. And then the big day itself, 16 to 28, mainly sunny, light, northwesterly winds. And then Sunday, around 30 degrees. Possibly the best time of the brown low at the end and also here at the beginning of the Rivals. See you tomorrow night. Stephen. Good off for the footy, though. Thanks, Mike. And that's 10 Eyewitness News for Monday. Stay with us. Family Feuds next. On behalf of the team. Take care. Good night.